About a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, a gentleman from our church approached us that I'd never met before and he was with Prison Fellowship and he said, do you think your husband, Weyburn Dean, would ever be willing to sing in a prison? And I said, oh, I know he would. He would love to sing in a prison. He's sung in prisons before and he, he just loves it and it, it's just wonderful. And so then Weyburn came up behind me and I said, honey, you would like to sing in a prison, wouldn't you? And and so that began a relationship with Prison Fellowship and um, Chuck Colson and Weyburn had the privilege of touring in, um, in Michigan with Chuck Colson and just sharing the gospel through our music ministry and then with Chuck Colson in several prisons. And it was just a wonderful experience. And through that, I received a phone call one day from a former student of mine at a Christian inner city Christian school that I've taught at for many years. And she asked if we would be willing to um, reach out to her husband, who was one of my students, who had gotten into a lot of trouble when he was a young teenager. He had gone through some family issues and was very hurt and got into the streets and got involved in some gangs and there was a murder committed. And although he didn't directly, he wasn't the gunman, he was involved and he knew of it. And so he was sentenced to prison as an adult for um, life without parole. And so we were able to meet with him. Weyburn uh, saw him at the concert and we've been visiting with him a lot. And through this, uh, God has just really opened up a, a door. And we've been doing several concerts in different prisons now. and really feeling God working in our hearts in this ministry and seeing lives changed and as a witness watching the concert sitting amongst some of the worst criminals and, and not really knowing what they've done but knowing that they're there for serious crimes but feeling that I'm sitting with, with just broken people and seeing as my husband begins to sing some of them come in and they're just hard and they're angry and they don't want to be there but they're there just to get out of their cell for a moment and then to see as Weyburn begins to sing and see their heart soften and see their eyes drop and to see the tears fall from their eyes. It's just a, it's just an experience that I'm just so forever grateful to the Lord for giving me the opportunity to just visually see the men's hearts break and, and give their lives to Christ. We, the first time we were there we saw over 50 conversions for Christ and that was just really moving. We were just so excited because quite often in the church concerts people are encouraged and and some do come to Christ but you don't know a lot about it but these men will come up and just say you know I want to know more about this Jesus that you sing of. And it's interesting because a, a lot of them have no place to belong. They don't belong to family, they don't belong in mm -hmm. society and they're forgotten and they feel mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. um, inwardly and to know that someone is coming in just to come in and to take their time to be a part of their lives is is really really something uh, to them but to to share something to them that has a glimmer of hope in it mm -hmm. is is an amazing is an amazing feat for them and they're just so excited and and I got to tell you prison worship is some of the <laughs> best worship in the world it's amazing because they're these men are broken. They, yes. they know that they need something, anything. And, and a lot of them may not necessarily understand Jesus Christ. They may not understand that he died on the cross and gave his life for me. They may not understand what the Spirit does and how mm -hmm. it works in their lives. But the first thing they get is music. They get that. Mm -hmm. They understand music and they love music. And then the messages of the music begin to soften the hearts. And we've been able to witness uh, God's, God's work happen in the heart of an individual mm -hmm. during the course of a song. Mm -hmm. it, it's a beautiful thing to see and, and we know this because afterwards they'll come up and they'll tell us, mm -hmm. this song has moved me and changed my life. What can I do uh, to give my life to Christ? And so uh, uh, prison ministry has been uh, something that we weren't necessarily expecting in our ministry. Mm -hmm. You know, we expected to just kind of continue what we've been doing and how we've been doing it, but God has directed us in a different uh, direction and um, a different manner, a different source, uh, but a beautiful one. We've seen God open the doors in miraculous ways, literally. And when you go through the chain of events that you have to go through and being searched and giving all your information and 
and you know just being treated almost as a criminal yourself you just get a small glimpse of what these people feel and when you go through those doors and you hear those mm. those doors clang shut those iron doors that are so heavy and solid you feel this sense of you know I'm trapped confinement confinement and and then when you go in and you get there and then these men are so thankful I mean tears running down their cheeks just thanking us for coming and you feel like you're doing such a small thing and it's turning out to be something huge and you know you think you're going to be giving something and you leave and you are so, so enriched blessed. and so blessed it's very humbling and we are just really feeling and sensing God's calling in our lives. This is very serious to us because we we want our music to touch and penetrate people's hearts. We don't want to just sing songs, have another album. This is not why we do this. This isn't why we stay up late no. at night and, no. and work very hard to try to get it right. And Weyburn is very creative and extremely gifted and and very much a perfectionist. He wants it to be right because this is for God's glory. and. Through this prison ministry, we long to see people's lives change. We want to meet these people in heaven someday and be able to worship with them as we've done here in the prison concert. And you know, we've, we've gone into prisons and we've come out of the prison walls and the doors will shut again. And uh, we're on the outside of the prison and we see how God has worked in the lives of these prisoners and how little we gave. It was just yeah. time is all it was. It's time. And mm -hmm. so we've we've actually talked about is we've said to each other, is that is that all we've had to do to make this kind of impact? Mm -hmm. Is that little time? And it's it's amazing. And I think I think that uh, as Christians, we need to f specifically think more about those people that God and Christ thinks about, those who are lost, forgotten. Mm -hmm. And it's just been a beautiful experience for our ministry. Mm -hmm. Another wonderful thing is we've invited so many people from churches and our family, some of our children, to come in and experience this because it, you just leave so enriched. And we've had some really great opportunities to have these people come in and um, to see them visibly moved and touched by these these men of God in the prison and um, I'm thinking of one man who brought his 16 year old son in yeah. and he was just so touched tears were rolling down his cheek and his son was trying to hide his tears but but it is just it, we're just so thankful again. And you know it's it's a scary thing it, it's not comfortable but God didn't call us to comfort mm -hmm. um, and, and I think Sometimes we'll go into these prisons, the doors will slam, and you feel totally vulnerable. Mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of this is what you have preconceived in your mind about prisons, uh, and, and most of it is just simply not true. And once you get on the inside and God is there, mm -hmm. you can see the Spirit of God take over in the hearts of these people, and that is what ministry is about. That's really what we're excited about.